Yeah. Skincare routine. Right. This video could pretty much be one minute long. I'm gonna tell you guys that I put nothing except water on my skin. So that kind of means I don't have a skincare routine. But I'm making this skincare routine video because a lot of people have asked me that they want me to tell them what I do to my skin. My hands have more of a routine than my face. I've used coconut oil. I've used the charity pot on my hands. I sleep with cotton gloves on my hands. I literally do more to my hands than I do to my face. At the end of the day, I truly believe, for me anyway, that less is more. The less I do, the better my skin is. And you're probably sitting there like, what the hell? This girl is telling me not to put anything on my face? I'm not telling you that, no. But I'm telling you that that is what I do. I feel that it needs a little bit more explanation. This kind of came to me as a little revelation that I had in the shower towards the end of last year. I decided that I wanted to do a little experiment on myself. Before that point, I was trying to make myself a skincare routine. I was trying to understand the purpose of a cleanser, a toner, a moisturiser. Okay, they, they tone, they cleanse, they moisturise, but I was trying to work out why we do these things and work out why people buy these set products and put them on their skin in a very set order. I was trying to work this out. I was like, okay, so I need to buy this and I need to buy that and that. And it got to the point this one day in the shower and I was like, you know what? Why am I searching for these products? Like, what are they gonna do to my skin? How are they gonna benefit me? And I was like, well, I'm just gonna try a little experiment on myself. I am not gonna do anything to my face. Excuse me, hay fever is coming so early this year. <laughs> We're fine. Before I had this little revelation, in the shower I was just washing my face with a soap and I think that soap was one from Lush that we'd got and or it was a very natural soap from Holland and Barrett that my mum got. I think the make is called Faith in Nature and my mum really likes those. So I was just washing my face with that soap and then once I'd get out of the shower I would put on this cleanser toner thing um, which is witch hazel and I use that because my sister recommended that to me and I was like okay well I may as well cleanse and tone my face because that's what the majority of the population do and then afterwards I would moisturize and I still have a tiny bit left I was using this moisturizer and um, this was from Superdrug and it's vegan and cruelty free because it's part of the Superdrug own range I literally went from doing that which wasn't very much anyway um, okay but to literally nothing and i was like i'm not even gonna wash my face with soap that is how much i cut my skincare routine down i literally was like that's it i'm just gonna use water and that's what i did and that is what i've done up until this point now this is the result of washing my face with water i started that about in the end of november december i think maybe even a bit earlier than that in 2017 the problem comes with skincare and stuff like this is that what works for one person may not work for another person. So I am definitely not sitting here and telling you that this is what you have to do. I just decided as a little fun experiment for myself, I just wanted to see what happens to my skin if I don't wash it and I just use water. And my skin has not got any worse, It's if anything it's gotten better. So I really feel that for me, less is more. If you feel that you need to use products, that's fine. But the problem that I had with it was like, if I'm buying a product that's gonna make no difference to the way my skin looks and feels, then why am I investing in that? And if you are someone, say, struggling with acne, then I highly recommend that you check out my sister's channel because Emily has extremely different skin to me. I do have dry skin, yes, but it doesn't bother me. Like, I don't feel as if it's dry and if it needs, like, hydrating. I just wash it in the shower and I literally let my skin do its thing. When you're a child and when you're younger, we don't do anything to our skin. You don't get out of the shower and tone and cleanse and moisturise and whatever order you do it and I don't know. But we don't do that when we're younger and I was just... Like, so why do we suddenly jump from doing nothing when we're young to then using all these products when we're like 
teenagers and adults i just didn't get it and if i'm completely missing the point then please let me know but i seriously don't see the point for me anyway of putting stuff on my face that is going to make no difference to the way my skin looks and feels my skin is just very inert to anything you'd probably put dog poop on my face and it would be fine and I'm lucky in the sense that my skin, I have never suffered with acne. So getting back to my point, if you are suffering from acne and your skin is probably in need of some routine and some cleansing and stuff to do, then I highly recommend checking out my sister's channel because she has struggled for a long time with acne and she's finally finding things that work for her skin and a routine that is really good for her. That is what I mean when I say that some people are very lucky and others are not. And it really just does depend. You need to find what works for you. And for me, I found that H2O, H2O is all I need for my skin. This video has been very highly requested. People are like, Holly, what do you do to your skin? Please do a skincare routine. And I think a lot of you are going to be quite surprised when I'm talking to you about the fact that I don't do anything to my skin. I'm not saying that I'm never going to use products on my face. And I'm definitely up for trying moisturizers and cleansers and cruelty free natural products. I'm very open to trying them and to seeing how they affect my skin but the thing is if that doesn't make a difference to the way it looks and feels i'm not really going to keep using it because i don't see the point like in the past and going way back did people use all these products that we have now on the stores no so why do we need them now you know i just question these things sometimes there are like five ish things that help I think, anyway, keep my skin clear. But yeah, so on a budget, as a student, because you know, <laughs> I'm a student, and if you are too, then I'm telling you things that you can do with minimal investment that will save you money, but they might help your skin. My five things that I kind of consciously do and think about are as follows. So number one, I drink so much water. So everyone's heard it water helps to clear your skin and that's always gonna be a fact i mean it's gonna hydrate your skin it's gonna moisturize your skin it's gonna flush out any toxins and just to help keep it clear and balanced the second thing that i do so as i said i don't put soap on my face i don't even wash it with soap so in the shower what i do is i get in and i literally just wash my face with water I make sure that my hands are clean when I'm in the shower and then I will literally rub my face with my hands like just like rubbing it like this kind of thing with the water splashing it over my face blah 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 getting in my eyes all that and just wash it and just remove any of the external dirt and stuff and that is what I do most days however if I want to like you know go a bit extra then I will use a little spin brushy thing I think that it's really, really important to get the best spin brush out there. So I use this one. My spin brush is from Aldi, guys. It's not a Clarisonic, no. Aldi, thank you. Yeah, it literally does the job. I don't need a high-end, expensive brush that does the same thing. This thing doesn't rotate, it literally spins like this. It doesn't even spin, it just vibrates. I don't need it to spin because I can use my hand to make it spin. I'd say every two or three days, I will use this on my skin in the shower. I will stand in the shower and go like this. Just stand there and splash it with water so it's wet to just exfoliate it, remove any of the dry, dead skin on the surface because obviously that's the way your skin, like, cycles it moves up from the dermis the epidermis and then the the dead skin layer at the top you just i just remove that with the spin brush i will always do that if i've had makeup on and that therefore leads me on to my next thing that i do if i've had makeup on because you know i'm a dancer and sometimes i will have a full face of makeup so you're like how do i remove that then holly how are you going to tell me to do that are you just going to tell me to use water now again <clears throat> well so that is when it gets a little bit outside the box because i will remove my makeup with this this is coconut oil it's really good at removing makeup and then as soon as i've done that out the shower or in the shower whatever i would just then wash it off with water but obviously you know water and oil do not mix so i will then use a soap 
to like remove everything and like make sure that the oil is all off my face and then i will also go in my spin brush quite heavily if i've had makeup on so i'll make sure i do my spin brush use a bit of soap if i've had makeup on so that is like the only time that i really use soap to wash my face this is just kind of like a little extra thing i will also always finish my shower cold so if i've had my shower quite hot and warm at the end i will literally turn the temperature right down you're probably literally standing there like what the hell you freeze i've gotten so used to it now like the first times i did it i was literally screaming like oh my god it's so cold but like guys it's fine you just turn it down and the water yes will suddenly become cold but what that does is it will just close your pores so obviously like warmth will open your pores and coolness will close your pores cold showers are actually really really beneficial the fourth and final things that i do so i will change my pillowcase on a weekly basis my sister started doing this and i was like oh you know what i might as well try and do that i do notice that if i have not changed my pillowcase then i will notice like a few underlying bumps will come up on this side of my face especially it's not this side and that is when i realized that oh it must be something to do with the side that i'm sleeping on so i think i sleep obviously on this side of my face more so than the other side so i make sure that i consciously change my pillowcase every week so because i use two pillows um it means that i've got four weeks worth before i need to actually like change my pillowcase i'll use one side then i'll flip the top pillow then i swap the top of the bottom pillows over sleep on that top side and then change the bottom pillow over if you see what i mean you're like this does not need an extra explanation but finally as you guys know um i'm a vegan so i eat a very whole foods plant-based diet and i think a lot of people are hearing this now that cutting out animal products um from your diet really does help your skin it has so many other benefits on your um body and your overall health but especially regarding skin it is great plant foods contain antioxidants vitamins minerals that are gonna nourish your skin animal products also contain loads of hormones that will stimulate the formation of pus and maybe acne you can look it up for yourself and if you don't believe me then that's fine <laughs> but a plant-based diet is extremely good for your skin and you're probably thinking why did this video really take you so long to put up and i think it was because i was worried that i wasn't following along with convention and i wasn't doing what the majority of people do I don't drink alcohol, I don't drink tea and coffee, I talk to you guys a lot about these things and I feel that this is just another demonstration of the fact that you don't need to do what everyone else is doing just because everyone else is doing it doesn't mean that it's right and that you should follow and you should do it yourself. Yeah, I will like tell you guys if I try any new products and I'll tell you how I feel about them and whether they've actually made a difference. I hope you've enjoyed this video, I know it's going to come to a surprise for a lot of you but I hope that you've maybe learned something or the message to take from this video is maybe less is more definitely i like to get out the shower and just be out the shower like i don't want to start faffing around with my face you know thank you for watching this video guys i hope you've enjoyed it if you did please give a thumbs up comment down below what you do to your skin like are you someone who doesn't have a skincare routine do you put things on your face any natural products that you would recommend me trying or want me to try and if you're new around here, subscribe. I will speak to you in the next one. Bye!